Red eye can ruin a photo, but white eye can ruin a child's vision. White eye is a symptom of an eye cancer called retinoblastoma. It's rare, but if it isn't detected early, it could cause blindness or death. Megan Hahn is here with more. Megan? Thanks, Alan. It's been making headlines, and parents are being advised to take a second look at family photos taken with flash photography to see, or see if there are any signs of this disease. I spoke with one North Dakota family who wants to share how a simple snapshot could save a life. At first glance, this innocent photo looks like a picture of J.J. Umbright. But if you look closely, the white glow in his left eye reveals a serious medical condition. This photograph, a Google search, and another random clue led J.J.'s mom to take him to the doctor. I was getting him ready to go to story time at the library, and when I was getting him dressed, it, we were in a dim bedroom, and when I put his shirt on his head, he turned his head just a little bit, and his left eye just gleamed yellow. And I'm a nurse and a mom, and it just hit me in the pit of my stomach. I knew there was something really wrong. J.J. was rushed to Mid-Dakota Eye Clinic the next day, then to Children's Hospital in Minneapolis, where he was diagnosed with the rare eye cancer retinoblastoma. When the doctor came out with the pictures of his retina, it was a tumor that covered pretty much the entire back of his eye and was about a centimeter thick. There are simple ways to detect the cancer. Flash photography is one. It afflicts children so young they can't tell you what's going on, and it's a simple screening process, as simple as taking a picture that we do all the time with our children, but use a flash and do it in a dim light. There has been a smartphone app that's been developed to detect wide eye. It's called Cradle. Simply snap a photo, and it'll be able to tell if you have a cancer like JJ's. The earlier you catch it, especially with this, because it grows at all different rates, but I think they're all fast. I see little boys around town, and everywhere we go, I want to stop and um, make sure they're taking them and getting their eyes checked. And For now, JJ continues to be a typical two-year-old, but he's not out of the woods when it comes to doctor's visits. The Umbrights are optimistic that JJ will regain some of his peripheral vision and participated in the story to alert other parents of the hidden dangers that can be detected by taking a closer look at family photos. The American Cancer Society says only about 200 to 300 children are diagnosed each year with retinoblastoma. Alan? 